of high availability and fault tolerance in AWS. Ensuring high availability and fault tolerance in AWS design your infrastructure to automatically handle failure and avoid downtime. Here are key strategies. The first one will be to use multiple availability zones. To deploy your application and data across multiple AZ within a region to protect against failure of a single location. Implement elastic, elastic load balancing. Use ELB to distribute incoming traffic, right, across a specific target group, such as EC2 instance in different AZ. You can also go for auto-scaling group. Auto-scaling group to automatically adjust the number of instances in response to traffic fluctuation to ensure that your application can handle demand and maintain performance during the peaks. Another point to take in consideration, Amazon RDS multiple AZ deployment. For a relation database, use Amazon RDS with multiple AZ to deploy for automat automatic failure. You also need to focus on Amazon S3. It's very important because AWS offer via Amazon S3 service, the ability to have the cross-region replication, okay? And Amazon Glacier is a durable storage, so really for long time storage. So if you want to archive your data, you can also use AWS Archive. Those are the services that are very important, and those are the functionality that will help you to save a lot of money. Don't forget to always think about a recovery plan. So usually we call it, we say backup plan. So you have to implement a regular backup procedure using AWS backup and plan for recovery in case of data loss to ensure business continuity. You need as well to decouple the component, decouple your application component using Amazon SQ or Amazon SNS to avoid single point of failure to improve, of course, the system resilience. Use as well, you can use as well AWS CloudFormation for infrastructure as code. Also, you can use Terraform which are another tool for infrastructure as code. This tool will help you to manage your AWS infrastructure, okay? And that will help you, helps you to have like always a important deployment. Another point to take in consideration is to always follow the best practices that are, of course, available in the AWS architect framework and white papers. Thanks and bye for now.